Hey guys, what's happening YouTube? Hope everyone's doing really, really well today. Today we're gonna have a special talk on a little bit more sales, tech sales, cyber sales, sales in general. What is spin selling versus the BART system? And this was a, a friend of mine actually, we, we were talking about this the other day, we were giving a call. He's actually going through course careers right now. And this came up and I thought this was actually a good topic. So if you guys don't know what course careers, it's a good, if you're, if you're new to tech sales, it's a good beginner, you know, tech sales course. What I like about it, it actually gives you the basics. If you've never done selling, it's a very good course. And it actually gives you a job placement at the end of it, which is really awesome. So a lot of people have asked me, do you believe in boot camps? It depends on the boot camp. It depends. I do like boot camps if they have a job placement at the end of it. So that's like kind of my thing. Um, I, I do promote it. If you guys want, you can look at the description below for 50 bucks off. Um, they have an introduction course, so you can test it out as well. Um, the other one I recommend is Uvaro, by the way. So we're going to talk about that. Real quick, uh, I've been watching the show Outlast, and you know this is very phenomenal. I, I'm into survival stuff. I, I did survival camps myself. Um, but it also talks a little bit about sociology and you see like tribal mentality and how people like kind of coordinate with each other. So I've been checking that out, recommend it. But let's get to the why we're here. Okay, so spin selling. I've had a few people kind of reach out um, asking for tech sales advice. Uh, a few people have actually reached out and they want me to do like a bit of mock interviews with them. Some, um, I'm, I'm updating a person's resume and they're linked in today. Uh, and a few of you have actually reached out on the photo booth stuff, which is awesome. Happy to help too. So feel free to reach out if you have anything uh, around those questions. I do my best uh, to answer everybody. I do have my own life too, just a heads up. <laughs> so spin selling. What is spin selling? So spin selling started in the 1980s. It's the 1980s way of doing it. So if you look at kind of like old school selling, there's different methodologies. A lot of people are familiar with hard selling. Hard selling is a lot more pushiness. It does work. It's been known to work. This was something that you've seen in like Wolf of Wall Street, where it's like they, they're just giving you everything. It's a lot more forceful. Um, and I know people that still use that and I have gotten amazing results. It's not my style. There's different styles and I think you should always pick the style that kind of resonates with you as long as it has a good track record. So spin selling is a lot more questions oriented and it actually has four types of questions. It, it actually is an acronym for those four types of questions. Situation, problem, implication, and need, okay? So with spin selling, if you just think about that, let's go through each one, some examples. So you're doing active listening. You're doing maybe 20% of the talking, 80% of the listening, and you're asking certain questions about the prospect in order to find out actually what is their reasoning? Why do they want this? Why do they, are they a good fit for you? So, Situation questions are kind of your softball questions. You're kind of, you're, you're starting off with a little bit like, tell me a little bit about, you know, what industry you're in. Tell me a little bit about more about your business. Explain to me your business. What, tell me a little bit about your products and your services. It's kind of the situation uh, of the other person. Problem questions are now you're getting into really like, what is the need? And you have to ask certain questions that um, get an emotional response. So a problem question example is, what's your biggest challenge? You know, you know what, what's got you shopping in the marketplace right now? What are you looking for? What is your biggest challenge? If you could change one thing about your service or business, what would it be? So there's some examples of kind of like a problem question. What is the problem they face? And you can tailor it to the person. Um, so for example, if I got a warm lead, Somebody's looking into, like, say if I worked for the company Monday.com, a uh, CRM company, and I first ask, you know, hey, tell me a little bit about your business. Tell me a little bit about your service and what your company does. Great. I listen, make notes, maybe ask a few more questions, and then I get to the problem. Like, so what has you in the market? What are you looking for? What is the biggest challenge that you're facing with your current CRM service? So things like that. Third thing, um, is then implication questions. You basically imagine them on a timeline, right? If they're continuing this way, it's like, great. So now you know their problem. An implication question example might be, great, so if, if these problems kind of continue, what does that look like? What does that look like for the next year, three years, five years? 
right? Um, what would ha what would happen if you continue this way? Would efficiency go down? What what would your competitors do? So you can ask implication questions and you give it a long enough timeline. The fourth question is need payoff questions. Okay, this is really kind of where now you insert yourself as the solution. And you ask, you know, hey, okay, so you told me your problem. Obviously, if this doesn't get fixed, this is gonna continue or it's gonna get worse. If we were to fix this problem, what would happen? Sorry, I got Sarge in the background barking at the mailman or something. Um, <laughs> Sarge, my dog. If this gets fixed, what would happen? What would be the benefit if you did this instead? What would be the benefit if you used our CRM? So that's kind of where it is, is you find out kind of who they are, what is their situation. You, you kind of have a little bit of problem or probing questions, a little bit like kind of give me what's going on? What's, what's the problem here? Third thing is like, okay, you, know, you now know the problem, we recognize it. If you continue down this road, what's gonna happen? And the fourth one, need payoff questions, it's like, great, if we were able to fix it with what we have to offer, what would that look like? Okay, so I hope that made sense. That's kind of spin selling in a nutshell. There's there's variations of this. Um, and I, I use spin selling in, in different businesses and you have to tailor it to the business you're in. And there's a lot of ways. If you want more, I, I'd be happy to chat about it a little bit more. Feel free to kind of text me or get, uh, send me an email. Now let's go to Bant. So this was like a question. He was a little confused on like Bant versus spin selling. Bant is more of a qualifier, how you're qualifying your leads, okay? So Bant also is an acronym. Um, it determines if your customers are the best fit. It stands for budget, authority, need, timeline. Now, what does this mean? It means that, uh, you know, if you get 100 leads, right? you want to be talking to the most high value leads. You should, you know, if, when you're starting off, you should still talk to all of them. When you get more experienced, you have to prioritize your time. And we talked about this, there's cold leads, warm leads, hot leads, okay? Your hot leads are the people that like, they wanna buy right now. They're ready to, you know, like, hey, they wanna buy. You don't have to do too much selling when it comes to hot leads. Warm leads are, they have some more questions. They know who you are. They've heard about your product or service. They have a mild interest. You gotta, this is where the conversation happens and where your skills and communication, um, as well as like, it's the best fit for them. This can actually benefit them. Cold leads, cold leads are like, they have no idea who you are, right? That's why it's called cold calling or cold email marketing. It's like people who have never heard of you. They have no idea and they weren't asking for help, but then you kind of, you're, you're putting yourself out there. And you're letting them know like, hey, I actually have something that I think can help you. So with Bant, it makes sure that you're talking to the correct prospects or leads that are the best fit for you. So we, let's go over again. Budget, authority, need, timeline. Budget. Do they actually have enough money to be able to access your product or service, right? If it's a completely like new startup, do they have enough cash flow to actually like purchase whatever software service you're doing or especially in cyber? Yeah, like, you know, some of these things cost ten, twenty thousand dollars a year. Uh, one of the one that I work with um, as like the, the head of sales, it's about fifteen thousand dollars a month. OK, so can they actually afford it first off? And you, 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 it's nice that you can still talk to somebody, develop a relationship. So down the road that you know you never know where they're going to be but obviously i need to prioritize my time on the ones that's like hey they actually fit this criteria first right once let me take care of these people and then let me go to the ones that like hey they don't fit the bill but uh i still want to develop those relationships if that makes sense so budget second thing authority does this person have the authority to make the buying decision right in a lot of companies, what happens is that you're talking to somebody who might be a low level person, nothing against it, but they're going to have to report back to their CEO or the department manager. And you have to go up the ladder when you're making your presentation. So instead of making like one presentation, you're making like four presentations to the same people, to the same company. So you want to make sure you're talking to the right person when you're doing your, your, your demo. Um, so budget, authority, need, do they actually need it? 
do they really need it or are they like you know it, it might give them a small benefit or or the, maybe they already have like say monday.com they already have a crm s service that does everything that you're doing they don't really have a need right so it's it's they might have the budget they you might be talking to the decision maker but i swear to god also side note I signed up for this one airline because I'm looking at honeymoon details and I they have not stopped calling me every 10 minutes. I, I'm i not gonna mention the name, but good Lord, once you get on one person's mailing list, it's don't do that. If you're a salesperson, do not call the person every 10 freaking minutes. They're never gonna wanna use your business. Anyway, need, budget, authority, need, and then timeline. Does it fit in the timeline, right, that this is a, a very good hot lead and it could, every business is different. A timeline to me is, are they going to be making a decision within the next like month? I would say that's a good rule of thumb. Um, or are they looking at, oh, we're thinking of making a decision two years from now. Okay. Well, if I give them a presentation now, I'm probably going to have to make a presentation two years from now. And it's going to be very, very different. Our pricing strategy might've changed. The, our, our own services have changed. Their, their company has changed. So if their timeline is so far down the road that it's like, well, it doesn't make much sense to me to do an entire hour long demonstration. It makes more sense to like, hey, let's keep in touch, right? That's what I mean. You don't burn bridges. It doesn't mean you're just like all these people you're just shoving away. It means, hey, like, let's keep in touch. It sounds like you guys are far in advance. Let me give you some information through email and then let's touch base every like three months until we get to that point, or you let me know. If you decide you guys are more in like, hey, we're, we're, we're kind of really actively shopping, let me know and I'd be happy to jump on like a call and we could do a demonstration. So that's the other thing too. So budget authority need timeline. Um, it's really qualifying the right prospects so you can do the best investment on your time. Doesn't mean you like get rid of anybody else or you like completely ignore people. Um, and sometimes it's inevitable. There's times where I, I, people will send me an email that's like a, a million questions. And it's like, dude, that's, let me just get on a call with you <laughs> because I can't, I can't, that email itself is like an hour long email and I have to prioritize my time uh, for my own effectiveness and for my family's effectiveness and everything else. So, so think about that. So again, Bant versus uh, spin selling, good things to know. They will help you. It's good to know different methodologies and tailor it to what works best for yourself and also what be works best for the clients you're talking to and the product and service that you're offering, okay? So if you guys need some help, obviously feel free to reach out. Um, if you guys are looking for free resume templates, completely free, offer them for free. Uh, I'll include them in the link below. These are the ones that after looking at thousands of resumes, I've, like, uh, I've kind of cherry picked and took out, and I've, I've made them so they're uh, blind resumes, so you don't know who they were from, but you still see the templates. Um, if you want me to specifically help you out with career stuff, resumes, mock interviews, career consulting, consulting in general, uh, feel free. A few of you have actually asked me to do my own sales series, which I'm very flattered. Um, I might actually do that. I'm considering it. Um, it depends on how much free time I have, and also how much interest, if somebody's interested in it, I will like, if I do it, I'm gonna give away, you know, maybe the first 10 for free. So if that's something you want, feel free to message me and I'll put you on the list for the first top, for the first 10 people who are gonna get that for free, okay? Anyway guys, hope you're doing well. I gotta take the dog to daycare <laughs> and get back and do some, uh, some work myself. It's gonna be a fun day. All right guys, have a good one, cheers.